We still want to be everywhere and apps on the web. And on the web, you have already this like immediate scale because of, of social referrals and, and other referrals. If you think about it, you don't have to download a browser on your, your mobile device, like, which is an app in itself. Um, it's just there. Um, you know, you go to a link from Twitter, it's a web experience unless someone is doing deep linking into a native app. So, you know, what we've seen is uh, we're still heavily invested in our native apps but there's still greater scale on the web, and the web uh, that has had a lot of the technologies catch up to native. Where on native you could say you can uh, cache things or store them more efficiently so they're faster, you can leverage device hardware in a different way um, that you couldn't do in the browser, and that's kind of been evolving and changing for the past few years. And now with, uh, with Google, um, with uh, AMP, with accelerated mobile pages, that kind of revolution started, where it was like, you know, we can we can do things that will make referrals from search results on Google be instantaneous, a la Facebook instant articles. Um, so we were right there with them on that to experiment with it and try it. And so then, when they announced the progressive web app technology, we were also right there to try that, which is essentially uh, making your whole website AMP compliant. Uh, but they are technically two very separate things. So Google really got us like going in the right direction, but then we still had a lot to solve because our article pages and our site as a whole and mobile are very rich and dynamic, and you can make any website fast if it has nothing on it. So we needed to add a few more things, including ads, and once we, we solved that, we knew we could take our whole site to be a progressive web app. Um, while still, you know, exploring our native apps and building upon them and growing them, uh, but like I said, there's a lot more scale on the web at the moment, so we we needed to ride that a little heavier. So, what will be the uh, consumer experience? Do you think, uh, the, in, in the, with 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 the new mobile web experience? Well, um, speed's important. You know, uh, even if you don't truly notice it, you do especially over time, especially once you've noticed it as being faster, uh, then everything else feels slower. You know, it's like getting a test drive in a Ferrari and then jumping into like a Prius. Um, you know the difference after you've, you've tasted it. So Facebook Instant really moves speed to the forefront of consumer experience. Um, so we think that speed is just an insanely important uh, reader experience um, uh, value. So that's the mobile web. The thing is, you think you know a lot of websites in general, not just on mobile, mainly on desktop, very slow, clunky. Um, so you have to wait for all these things to load until you can consume the content, uh, and then several other things might happen. So after a little while, you're like, I'm not going to read another article because I just went through all that, I got what I wanted. Why would I read something I don't, you know, you know, want to wait for? So we think that we close that gap in the consumer experience of it's fast, quick, that our engagement will increase. And in our public-facing beta of the PWA version of our mobile site, we've seen that. So tell us you know, the kinds of increases, if you can share with us, the kind of incremental changes. Uh, we've seen about 5x uh, engagement, which we would classify I guess in the traditional sense of engagement, which is uh, page views per visit, or essentially number of stories read. Uh, so, you know, looking at, at hard numbers, that's pretty good. Uh, and even if it's one, it one to five is pretty good, but it's uh, even a little higher than that. Uh, so we think that that will drive greater traffic growth. Um, uh, people will get more into the value of our stories and the journalism we're doing, which means they might be more likely to pay. And also, suddenly we're one of the fastest news sites in the world versus everyone else. So then maybe we, more people will come to us versus others. Cool. And finally, about uh, apps themselves. Uh, you guys have been doing a lot of innovation there. What's cool there? What, what's happening uh, in terms of user experience? Or um, you know, tell us about what's going on with apps, if there's anything you'd like to share. Well, right now, um, we're actually exploring a lot of new ideas that aren't, aren't public yet, because we feel that um, experience with apps overall, not just news apps, uh, are, are starting to feel a little stagnant. 
um, like a lot of apps look the same. There are more um, consolidated apps uh, or like aggregator apps out there. Um, so to be a single source app in a sea of lots and lots of apps, especially big apps like Facebook and, and Google, uh, Flipboard and others, uh, you really have to differentiate differentiate yourself without it just being a, you know, a bell or whistle that is of no value. So we're looking at uh, what do people want, um, you know, what what are kind of new technologies we can take advantage of. So with say iOS 10 coming out, uh, I believe in a few weeks, um, we've looked at new things we can do in messages there. Um, we're uh, creating a new watch app because the watch OS. Uh, update is significant and allows for more expansion and new features. So we've, we're trying something there. Um, but apps as a whole, I'd, I'd say the web has closed the gap on kind of new and interesting if you think about us building apps. Now, from, say, Apple's perspective, they've advanced the technology amazingly. So they're definitely not stagnant or anything as, a, as an operating system. Uh, but to us, the web is almost as good as an experience as a native app at the moment, and you don't have to download it. You just pretty much refer there. So native apps, we're looking at, um, you know, how's the market changing as a whole? I mean, right now it's very saturated. There are a lot of apps out there. Um, but when people have our app and use it, they love it, and they use it more regularly and more directly, and there's higher engagement. Um, so we're we want to grow that overall without trying to just force people into one experience or the other because we know people choose both, so both have to be good.